The journey continues as I visit influential figures behind modern belief systems and seek their endorsement. We're on our way to see Anne Druffel, who is a very prolific writer and speaker in the whole UFO alien abduction area. Uh, her last book she wrote was called How to Defend Yourself Against Alien Abduction, which I've been reading quite avidly. She is very old, but we have to put that to one side and remember that she spent the last 50 years writing and speaking on these subjects. She's been told that Richard Collins, that's me, was abducted by aliens 10 years ago and was given an ability to sense people's medical history. Many people do claim to have been left with similar abilities after abductions, but none have been able to conclusively demonstrate them. Please remember, I don't really have this ability. The question is, will this demonstration be enough to have this prominent investigator endorse me to her public? Now, I've, I know who you are because I've, I've read your books. But perhaps for people at home who don't know you, perhaps you can tell us your credentials. Well, uh, Vince and I are, are part of a group of UFO researchers that's been together for about 35 years. Mm -hmm. I started in 1957 with the National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena, which was called NICAP. And then in, in 1965, when the first uh, abductee you know, uh, claim came in, I investigated that together with other members of NICAP. So you both have quite a high profile in this. Uh in this area, and you've written, how many books have you written now? Uh, I've written uh, five books. And the, this is the one that I, or I first came across you, was uh, How to Defend Yourself Against Alien Abduction. A lot of the stories involve these bedroom visitors, these entities that come in at night. So Most of them do, yes. Yeah. Most of them involve uh, like uh, altered states, like the dream state. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, abduction scenario starts in the dream state. Mm -hmm. If somebody said um, that the altered state is an altered state because people are dreaming or because they think they're awake and they're not and they're just sort of having a very lucid or vivid dream, do you, do you disregard that? Does that just not hold up with the evidence or is that possible? Or? You decide for yourself, I guess. Uh, yeah. There's not very much black and white, you know. Mo most of it is in the grey area. Okay, well that's, that, that's good. Um, I suppose I should talk about my own experience. Um, after my abduction, essentially what it is that I seem to be able to tell people their medical background and their medical history, sometimes their current medical state. Um, I tell you the impressions that I get. If I get nothing at all, I'll be honest and say so. And I will, if I do say things, I'll try and be very accurate because mm -hmm. I know part of this no. journey for me as well is seeing whether it is real or whether it's nothing to it. I'll stand up and face over there so you can if one of you comes and touches me on the back it might be interesting also if you don't even let me know which one of you is touching me oh, okay. okay just mm -hmm. it might make it more interesting um and if you just place your hands on the small of my back and just be patient because sometimes it takes a little while it's different with different people um mm -hmm. I'll, I'll also have my eyes closed as i'm doing it so um i won't be able to see um so don't, please don't, don't say anything out loud so I don't know who's, I don't know who's coming up. Um. Okay, I've got my eyes closed, so. Mm, okay. Okay, you're having real difficulty sleeping at the moment. Um, and I don't know if this is Vince or Anne, but you're having real difficulty sleeping. Uh, there's something in your throat or that has been in your throat. <coughs> <coughs> a, ch uh, a tumor or a something that was in your throat. I don't, I don't, my actual anatomical knowledge is not great, but a, a gland or something in, in the throat there that was, and this, but this would have been ages ago, but something up there, and there's, um, oh, I'm gonna turn around and look at you if that's all right. Oh, okay. Um, I think you have, um, I think you don't take, or you really try not to take, uh, dr um, like ch uh, chemical, uh, prescripted drugs. I think maybe you, you use more sort of herbal or, or um, you know, non-drug-based remedies, because there's a real, uh, 
almost if I'm shaking, I, um, but a real sense of, of, of purity almost. And, and I think they had some minor heart problems, but again, nothing. I think you're in very good health actually, but uh, yeah, but that was very clear here and the throat and, and that you've been having real difficulty sleeping for some time. But the thing in the throat was years ago, I mean, literally decades ago, it's not, mm -hmm. not recent. Is that remotely? Remotely, it's exactly. <laughs> really? <laughs> Did you have something in your throat? I had a thyroidectomy uh, in the 1960s uh, for a benign tumor. I had a low thyroid. Right. <laughs> it was about the only surgery I've ever had up there. I, I do have trouble sleeping. Uh -huh. um, and the other thing you said, uh, that I, I do not slight... take pharmaceuticals. So. Yeah, is that true? Yeah. Um, Yes, I, I'm almost exclusively alternative medicine. Okay. <laughs> I don't trust Western medicine or pharmaceuticals. Well, you're in, you seem to be in good health, so that's... I am. I'm in uh, excellent health. And wow. <laughs> I, I found it uh, amazing. I mean, the accuracy was astounding. He, w he was accurate to uh, 100%. I've written for the scientific, the oh, the Journal of Scientific Exploration. I think possibly this would be the best, uh, the best place for Richard because that's a refereed scientific journal. I mean, this should go to the very highest, most respectable publications you can find. At the next board meeting of MUFON LA, uh, I'll bring up the idea that uh, Richard would make a, a most remarkable speaker. Anne has offered me an impressive endorsement there. I turned down an offer she made for me to speak at a meeting that evening.